All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond at this hour. While the world is cautiously watching India's moon mission as it is inching towards the lunar surface, the crown jewel is, of course, the lander module Vikram, which is poised to land on the moon's surface, heralding a new era for India's space exploration. And our next story will explore the role of the propulsion module which will continue its journey in its current orbit around the moon for months, maybe perhaps even years. It is some special equipment which will allow scientists to study the exoplanets that may support life, as well as enable a better way to understand the Earth's atmosphere. Take a look at this report. Humans are known to be explorers. We have gone to the depths of the ocean and touched the icy heights. Every new discovery fuels the drive to explore further. What about the skies, teeming with stars? The cosmos is full of mysteries, but perhaps the most interesting is the question, are we alone in this universe? Well, a positive answer could change our very understanding of life. And when we talk about the hunt for alien life, scientists zoom in on habitable worlds, which basically are exoplanets. An exoplanet is any planet beyond our solar system. Till now, more than 5,000 exoplanets have been discovered. There are about a billion in our Milky Way galaxy alone. India's space agency ISRO is all set to explore these planets with the help of special equipment on board its latest lunar mission. Finding these exoplanets is very difficult, as they are located far away and also hidden in the glare of the stars they orbit. But an interesting technique allows astronomers to use starlight to closely examine these planets when these planets cross their stars, they momentarily block the light. ISRO has sent a special payload called SHAPE, which stands for Spectropolarimetry of Habitable Planet Earth. This will study the spectropolarimetric signatures of the Earth in the near-infrared wavelength range. While the equipment would be zoomed onto our home planet, the data would be used in the search for life on exoplanets beyond the solar system. Let's also remember that the lander module's job has now begun. It's completed its first orbit reduction or deboosting. And after this deboosting, it's in a 113 into 157 kilometer orbit. And of course, the next orbit reduction or deboosting is scheduled for the early hours of Sunday. It's at 0200 hours on Sunday that this maneuver is expected. Clearly, Chandrayaan-3 is a big leap in celestial exploration, cementing India's prowess in the final frontier, but also adding to the collective knowledge which would further push us to go much beyond in the cosmos. With Siddharth MP in Chennai. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.